Hello everybody. This video series or this playlist is for those students who have completed their 10th standard, whether it is state board or CBSC board or ICSC board. And you, you are waiting for your results and you are waiting for your class 11 or first PUC classes to start. Okay. So in this bridge course, I'm going to cover some of the topics you already know. Okay. And those the same topics which come in your first PUC. And if you are very, very focused about your need preparation and JWE preparation, please follow all my videos. Now, uh, I will cover some of the important topics in mechanics. Mechanics means uh, we, we study about motion of objects. Okay. So here uh, you might have studied uh, some topics like motion of particles along a straight line. Okay laws of motion, gravitation, work energy power, okay, all these topics come under uh, uh, mechanics. So here today, in today's session, I'll discuss about uh, motion of particles in a straight line, okay, motion of particles in a straight line, motion of particles, motion of particles or bodies in a straight line. In uh, high school days, in class 8th or uh, class 9th, you might have studied something called distance. Okay. What is distance? Distance means length of the actual path traveled by a, traveled by a body while traveling from point A to point B, one point to another point. Length of the actual path. We also call this distance as path length. Distance is also known as path length. So what is, what do you mean by distance? Distance means length of the, length of the actual path traveled by the body, length of the actual path traveled by the body, length of the actual path traveled by the body or particle. Then you might have also studied something called displacement. What is displacement? Displacement is the minimum distance between two points. Okay. Displacement means what? minimum distance minimum distance between two points minimum distance between two points is called displacement now we will try to understand the meaning of distance and displacement using an example okay let us suppose that there is a person okay there is a person this person goes from point a to point b okay point a to point B via this path. He goes like this. Okay. Via this path. Along a semicircle. Okay. Let us suppose that radius of that semicircular path, let it be R. We will calculate distance. And what is distance? Okay. What is distance? Distance means what? Length of the actual path. Okay. If uh, a particle completes one circle, if a particle completes one circle, then what is the distance traveled? Distance, that distance traveled will be equal to 2 pi r, correct? Now, that distance traveled is 2 pi r. Now, here there is a semicircle, means distance traveled here will be equal to pi into r, 2 pi r divided by 2, 2 to gets cancelled, pi r. Distance traveled is how much? Pi r. Now, what is displacement? Displacement means minimum distance between points A and B, minimum distance. See, here to here, the distance is r, here to here, the distance is r, so therefore, the minimum distance between point A and point B is 2R, that is equal to diameter. So therefore, displacement, displacement is equal to 2R. Displacement is equal to 2R. Hope you can understand what is distance. Distance means length of the actual path traveled. What is displacement? Displacement means minimum distance between two points. Okay. So we have taken one example. A person travels from point A to point B via a semicircular path. Okay. Uh, radius of that semicircular path is R. Then what is distance? Distance equal to pi R because length of this is pi R. Why? Total length of the circumference of the circle is 2 pi R. Then this should be half of that pi R. What is displacement? Displacement means minimum distance. Means if you go in a straight line. Okay. So that minimum distance is 2 R. Yeah. Now, we will see what is speed, okay, what is speed, speed means what, you know this already, speed means 
distance traveled by the body distance traveled by the body divided by time taken distance traveled by the body divided by time taken is called speed what is its unit okay what is its unit distance distance is measured in meters time taken is measured in seconds so therefore unit of speed is meter per second unit of speed is meter per second similarly you might have defined something called velocity okay what is velocity velocity equal to total displacement total displacement divided by total time taken displacement divided by time taken okay so here also the unit is same displacement is measured in meters time taken is measured in seconds so therefore its unit is also meter per second velocity unit of speed is meter per second unit of velocity is meter per second unit of distance is meter unit of displacement is also meter now if you look at the previous example okay here in this in this example when a person goes from point a to point b okay let us suppose that this person takes time equal to 2 seconds if this person takes time equal to 2 seconds in this case what is speed and what is velocity okay what is speed and what is velocity speed speed is equal to distance divided by time taken what is distance distance is pi r okay pi r divided by 2 seconds pi r meter divided by 2 seconds so pi r by 2 meter per second unit of speed is meter per second then what will be velocity velocity is equal to displacement by time here what is the displacement displacement is 2r displacement is 2r then what is the time taken by the person time taken by the person is 2 seconds so 2r by 2 what happens r meter per second so in the previous example speed equal to pi r by 2 meter per second and velocity is equal to r meter per second now next we'll try to understand what is acceleration acceleration what is acceleration acceleration means we define acceleration as rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity is known as acceleration rate of change of velocity or in a um, mathematical you can write acceleration as rate of change of velocity change in velocity divided by change in time or you can write it as final velocity minus initial velocity divided by final time minus initial time okay or simply you can write acceleration equal to v by t in simpler terms so okay, acceleration equal to v by t so what will be the unit of acceleration unit of velocity is meter per second unit of time is second so meter per second per second it will be this will go up correct now what happens meter per second square unit of acceleration is meter per second square now uh, what we will do we will learn something very important called position time graph okay position time graph position time graph or we also call this graph as xt graph if you plot a graph okay position of a position of a particle as a function of time okay position of a particle as a function of time then we call it as xt graph or if you plot position of a particle along y axis and time along x axis then you get something called position time graph now uh, let me take an example okay uh, let us suppose that so there is a uh, person here say this is x axis okay this is 0 uh, meter okay this is 1 uh, meter this is 2 meter this is 3 meter this is 4 meter and so on okay and there is a person who is waiting for the bus and let us suppose that he is standing at 2 meter okay now the time goes forward t is equal to okay t is equal to 0 seconds 1 seconds 2 seconds 3 seconds time is going forward but he is standing there okay he is waiting for the bus let us suppose that he is waiting for the bus or he is at rest okay now how to draw the position time graph see i'll write this as 0 seconds this is 1 second 2 seconds 3 seconds and so on here this is 1 meter 
this is 2 meter, this is 3 meter, this is 4 meter and so on. See, when the time is 0 seconds, he was at 2 meter. When the time is 0 seconds, he was at 2 meter. When the time is 1 second, now also he is in 2 meter because he is at rest. Now also he is at 2 meter. When the time is 2 seconds, now also he is at 2 meter. When the time is 3 seconds, now also he is at 3 meter. Oh, sorry, 2 meter. So what is happening? If you join these uh, points, you get a straight line which is parallel to time axis. This will be the position time graph of a particle at rest. Okay. So this is the xt graph. This is the xt graph for a particle for a particle which is at rest. This is the position time graph for a particle which is at rest. Okay, now what you should remember, if you are asked to draw a position time graph for a particle which is at rest, then your curve, that the line which you draw should be parallel to time axis, means what? Even though the time is changing, position is not changing. Okay. Now, let me uh, consider one more example of uniform speed. Say, there is a person, okay, this person was at 0 meter when the time was 1 second, okay. This person is moving with some speed. He is at 1 meter when the time is 2 seconds. He is at 2 meters when the time is 3 seconds. He is at 3 meter when the time is 4 seconds and so on, okay. Every 1 second, he is traveling a distance of 1 meter. Now, how to draw position time graph? Position time graph means what? Along y-axis, you should represent position along x-axis you should represent time okay this is 0 seconds 1 second 2 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds and so on 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter and so on when the when the time is 1 second he is at 0 meter when the time is 1 second okay when the time is 1 second he is at 0 meter Okay, when the time is 2 seconds, he is at 1 meter. When the time is 2 seconds, he is, at, he is at 1 meter. When the time is 3 seconds, he is at 2 meter. When the time is 4 seconds, he is at 3 meter. Now, what will be the position time graph? This is the position time graph that means what if the if the particle if the particle is moving at a uniform speed then xt graph is a straight line making some angle with the time axis or what you can do is in order to simplify the situation okay say for example the person was at 0 meter when the time is 0 seconds the person was at 1 meter when the time is 1 second the person was at 2 meter when the time is 2 seconds. Okay, now what happens if you plot a graph? Okay, if you plot a graph, this is x in meters, this is time in seconds. Say this is 0, okay, 1, 2, 3 and so on. This is 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter and so on. The person was at 0 meter when the time is 0 seconds. Yeah. The person was at 1 meter when the time is 1 second. This is the point. He was at 2 meter when the time is 2 seconds. If you join these points, you get a straight line. Okay. Now, what you have to observe here is very, very important thing is, okay. say this is uh, xt graph. This is xt graph. x in meters, time in seconds, time in seconds. <coughs> If you, if you calculate slope, if you find slope of xt graph, what happens? Okay, slope of xt graph. Slope means what? Slope means what? You might have studied. Slope means y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Slope means y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus y1. What is y2 minus y1? I'll write it as delta y. x2 minus x1 I will write it as delta x 
our slope is simply equal to y by x. So this is y axis now. This is y divided by x. But here, say let this point is x one. Let this point is x two. Say this point is t one, and this point is t two. Okay. Now what is slope here? Y distance divided by x distance. So here you have delta x. Here you have delta t. So here in this graph, in this graph, slope is equal to delta x by delta t. What is delta x? Delta x means displacement. What is delta t? Delta t means time. So what is delta x by delta t? Delta displacement by time. Displacement by time means what? Velocity. So what you have to understand? Slope of x t graph gives velocity. Slope of x t graph gives velocity. And one more thing that we we need to uh, understand. One more thing that we need to understand is okay. Say this angle is theta. This angle is theta. If this angle is theta, okay, then this angle will also be equal to theta. Okay. Now here you got a right angle triangle, correct? A right angle triangle. So in this right angle triangle, what is tan theta? You might have studied little trigonometry. What is tan theta? Tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. Opposite side, opposite side divided by adjacent side. Or that is equal to delta x by delta t. Delta x by delta t. Or that is equal to velocity. So what does it mean? In case of a position time graph, if you find slope, you are go going to get velocity. If you find tan theta, okay. You are going to get velocity where theta should be the angle between the curve and the time axis. In the next session, we are going to study about velocity time graph in detail. Okay, and we 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 are going to derive okay some uh, kinematic equations in the eighth or ninth. You might have studied v is equal to u plus a t, x is equal to u t plus half a t square, v square plus is equal to u square plus two a x. Correct now. So we will derive these equations, and we will solve some problems. Okay, and so on. We will be uh, studying mechanics, which is very very important. Try to uh, listen to the classes with utmost care. Thank you very much.